It is a very slow progress, but I managed to get the first part of the baby activity box assembled. It has two buttons and a speaker. Now you can play a song with a push of a button. But first, let's take a look inside. Arduino win pin requires at least 6 volts. Six AA batteries will give 9 volts when full and above 6 volts when almost empty. I screwed the battery boxes onto a wooden plank. I will later attach it to the bottom of the box. I also added velcros to prevent batteries from popping out of the sockets when the box is thrown around during play. I like solderless connections between different components, so it would be easy to disassemble if necessary. For example, for the power switch, I have those little clamped connectors that I can just pull off the power switch. I added a barrel connector to the wire, so it is easy to connect power to the Arduino board and also it prevents accidentally reversing the polarity. The connections here are extremely simple. Just two battery boxes in series with a power switch. The main board has Arduino Nano and a TF Player Mini. I am powering the MP3 player from Arduino 5V pin and have connected pin 2 and pin 3 to its RX and TX pins. Since RX pin is not 5V tolerant, I have added a voltage divider. I also have soldered the connector for the speaker wires. To make connecting analog inputs easier, I have added some connectors next to the AI pins. The closest row is for AI pins and the next two rows are power rails for 5 volts and ground. Those buttons have both three states, up, middle and down. To conserve digital input pins that I need later, I have attached them to analog input pins. Both of those buttons have two switches. Basically, I have made two voltage dividers and I can measure from the code if top switch is closed or bottom switch is closed. If neither is closed, then the button is in the middle state. I will make a separate video to explain the code in more detail. Basically, I have made a C++ class that handles the button and generates an event if button changes its state. So the main code looks really simple. When the button down event is received, then start playing a song. And this is how it works right now. <laughs> 